Rushmore is reaching out to Chicagoans after a hotly contested election. Despite anger in some quarters over his surprise victory, Rushmore insists he's working for all citizens, and it's business as usual at City Hall. I haven't been in Nikki since the funeral. Am I ready? Jack's last birthday, Lena sang off key. Happy birthday. Full throttle, no holes barred. Now, I'm afraid of the silence. case uh, you deserve 10 birthday tickles what? one two three four oh, five six stop. seven eight oh. nine ten. <laughs> ten. 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 stay here for a second so an entire year and, and yeah, late yeah I'm sorry Nick really come here Let's have a look at you. You look older. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> it's his first birthday without Lena. Oh, how's he doing? Still doesn't talk to anybody but me. Yolanda says it's his way of maintaining some sort of control. Yolanda? His therapist. She's helping him. It's good. Just slow. It's hard, but we're gonna get through it. Mm. Jax. Hey. S sorry I'm late. Can I, uh, you wanna get a hug? Wow. You are big. <laughs> So, hey, what, what do you got there? Wow, the healer. Cool. You brought him a real toy, huh? <laughs> Why don't you bring up your toys? I'm gonna speak with your uncle. Yeah, I'll be I'll be up there in a sec. This matters. You being here. I just need to make sure that things are different. Things are different. You and Jax are the most important people in my life. I'm not gonna stop watching out for you. 
Always the big brother, huh? Last time I was back here, it was Lena's birthday. Jackson adored her. We all did. You missed all the fun. The kids were playing vigilante, imitating that guy they keep talking about on TV. Let me guess. Jax was the vigilante. No, they were all the vigilantes, and I was the only villain, but I make a mean bad guy. <laughs> I gave him hell. I should have come earlier. I could have warned them. Don't mess with my sister. Remember when you and Mom were both sick as dogs, but Dad insisted his boy was gonna have his birthday cake? That thing was an abomination, all burnt and lopsided. That was Dad in a nutshell. He did a lot of ugly things, but it was always about family. <laughs> Listen to me, I'm rambling. Oh, really? <laughs> no, 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 don't let me interrupt you. Who is this? <laughs> you think blogging caller ID will hide you? <laughs> I don't know what's so entertaining, but the police won't find it very funny at all. I'm gonna give you some advice. Are you listening? Go outside, meet people, get a life, and stop calling me. What did you say? Listen, the police can trace this call. Oh, nice. Nice. You don't scare me. I know where you live. How are the locks on those doors? Who is this? Why are you calling? Do you feel safe, Nikki? Who was that? Doesn't matter, just some stupid crank. It happens. Do you think this is strong enough? Look, did you know his voice? Oh, Jesus, Aiden, just leave it. It's fine. It's fine. He thinks he can get inside. How do you know what he thinks? You're checking the locks. Look, I can handle this on my own. We do not need your help. Nikki, I can find this guy. Okay, look, Aiden, God, you have not changed at all. We do not need your help. Please stop trying to fix our problems. Every time you try, you just make things worse. I better go. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Grown man making crank calls. Let's see how safe you feel when I trace your call. There you are. Damn it. He's on the move. I've been afraid of this. Threats to my family. Again. Well... You're doing it right now. I can't believe you. 
It's not like that. Stop being a hero, Aiden. Let it go. Let what? Yeah, the call's breaking up. I can't hear you. No, you can hear me perfectly. You need to stop right now. Yeah, hello? You still there? Can't hear you. Okay, gotta go. Oh! Sec. I need those CTOS hacks. Yeah, I'm still trying. They're kicking you out. Give me time. Okay, well, I need your help then. Can you trace a phone call? How can I refuse my best plan? Wait, what am I looking at here? It's from a guy who threatened my family. I want to know who hired him. Well, the call came from somewhere in the loop district. But that's as far as I can see. Okay. I can hack CTOS inside the loop. Then I should be able to pinpoint the source of that call. Let's do that. Bloom's building a new CTOS center in the loop. It's perfect. Dead tried to attack that center last month. 
We failed, and they just added more armed guards. So it won't be easy. Be careful. You sound like my sister. Relax. Make sure I'm armed and dangerous. private contractors to guard their CTOS centers. These guys will be geared up and wired for action. But I'll be ready. TOS doubles their guards. I better double my weapons. How you doing? Finding everything okay? few weeks, CTOS centers throughout Chicago have increased security due to several attacks from activist hacker group DeadSec. When asked about security changes, Bloom spokeswoman Charlotte Gardner was decisive. Chicago's safety is paramount, so we've hired private security for every CTOS control center. These highly skilled peacekeepers have trained in the most dangerous regions of the world. In fact, Ms. Gardner, these peacekeepers you refer to are military mercenaries, many with criminal records. Isn't that true? Indeed, they've served time in the military, but we should hardly reject our brave soldiers for proudly serving their country, should we? Thanks so much, ma'am. Our CTOS network is well protected, and that gives Chicago citizens the comfort they deserve. That was Bloom spokeswoman Charlotte Gardner discussing CTOS security. Security is no joke. I need access. How to find out who's targeting my family. 
I want that voice behind the phone call. 